on the screen is to look at the Himawari 8 and satellite imagery of Australia's western region. A tropical low was located at 8am near 16 decimal 2 degrees south, 128 degrees east. That's about 90 kilometres west southwest of Kununurra. That's on the Northern Territory WA border. 640 kilometres east northeast of Broome. It's currently tracking west northwest at 7 kilometres an hour. The tropical low invests 92S. Is expected to track to the west, moving offshore on Wednesday and developing into a cyclone. The cyclone is then forecast to turn towards the Pilbara coast on Friday, intensifying further before reaching the coast on the weekend. The Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre in Perth has put out its first track chart and they're going for a Category 2 system. At this stage, a severe cyclone impact is possible for the Pilbara coast between Exmouth and Port Hedland on the weekend. Scattered heavy rainfall is expected over the Kimberley today and over the northwest Kimberley tomorrow. Here's a look at one of the Bureau's radars. You can definitely see the clockwise motion. There's also a flood watch in place for the north, east and west Kimberley withers. As the rainfall moves towards the Mitchell Plateau, falls for the 48 hours, that is from Monday and including today, Tuesday, are expected to be 60 to 200 millimetres with isolated heavier falls. Rainfall in the affected catchments expected to result in river rises. Areas of flooding adversely impacting the local road network. Some roads may also become impassable and communities linked by minor roads may become isolated. Catchments uh, likely to be affected include the East Kimberley, North Kimberley, West Kimberley withers. Now here's a look at some uh, tracks on Investor 92S. Our AU channel is also uh, providing a coverage of the developing system and if you haven't already subscribed to the uh, channel it would be much appreciated. This is the Bureau's 12 hourly uh, rainfall outlook. Information is at the right hand side of the screen and this is the Bureau's total forecast of rain outlook for the next eight days. A significant weather event is likely for the entire east coast of Australia and my area of concern is the pink through to purple. This is the GFS model. The information is at the bottom of the screen. And considering that I'm here in uh, Brisbane, the southeast corner of Queensland, I'm you know, keeping a very close eye on the local weather scene. And what does one say about that area in dark brown? That's up to 400 millimetres plus. Now here's a look at the NOAA floaters and in addition to this developing uh, tropical system, the Bureau of Meteorology via their Tropical Cyclone Outlook for the Coral Sea is keeping an eye on another low pressure system, Invest 91P. 
Monsoon trough extends from Cape York Peninsula to the Northern Coral Sea region. Weak tropical low lies along the trough southwest of the Solomon Islands. The low is expected to remain slow moving during the week, but the potential for development into a tropical cyclone is not likely in the short term. Here's a look at the wind shear for the western region. 24 hour shear tendency. However, environmental conditions are likely to improve or become favourable for tropical cyclone development during the weekend or early next week. Matteo France New Caledonia is also monitoring the system. 850 millibar vorticity and the vorticity scale is on the right hand side of the screen and what I look at is the area in right. And here's a look at a model on the tropical low. We will have more later. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force 13. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash 413 and you can reach out to us on Skype at 413 or to me directly on Discord at TREN extension 1375 or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash 413.